Hello and welcome to Truth Broadcast. Today, I want to expand a little bit on the topic of astral projection or out-of-body experiences that I touched on in the previous episode. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks how you can easily achieve an out-of-body experience if that's what you want to do yourself at home. So, if you're planning on having an astral projection and you get the opportunity to do so during the day, I would greatly recommend you do it somewhere else other than in your bed. Because typically, if you lie down in bed, um, you're more than likely going to just fall asleep while practicing one of the astral projection techniques to get out of your body. And uh, that's because your body and your mind are conditioned to falling asleep in bed. So if you can, if you have to use your bed, you can just try to sit up a little bit more instead of lying that down that much. Uh, get out of your regular sleeping position. And if you can afford to, I would choose a different room, a different location to try to astral project entirely. I'd like to uh, astral project right here in this chair. It's in my office and that way I just don't tend to fall asleep while I try to astral project. Uh, generally, I do recommend uh, trying it out in the early morning hours, like setting an alarm clock three to four hours before you would usually wake up. Like for me, that would be around three o'clock at night. And I'd set off the alarm, just get up for a second, take a quick walk around the room, maybe drink a glass of water, get back into bed and start practicing a full body relaxation exercise to get every single muscle in my body relaxed. And then I would proceed to uh, using one of the actual exit techniques to get yourself projected out of your body, out of your physical body. So what you wanna do, it doesn't matter if you choose to try it out at night, if you have to try to sit up a little bit so you don't fall asleep that easily, or during the day, try to project in a different room other than your place where you sleep or in your bed. And first of all, you need to completely relax your physical body. There are many relaxation techniques out there and I just, I don't really use any specific one. I just basically tense um, individual muscle groups starting with my feet, just tense them and relax again and go all the way up until the neck and head, you know, just tense up real quick, your chest, your neck, your hands, really tense them up real quick and just relax them again. And do that with every single muscle group in your body. And when you're done, just keep on breathing. Now breathe deeply, focus on your breath. And while you're focusing on your breath, just have the intention to be relaxed and let your mind relax. Because typically you will be having a lot of mind chatter going on in the background. That's perfectly normal. You'll be thinking about all kinds of stuff. But as you relax deeper and deeper, you will notice that the mind chatter starts to fade away. If it doesn't, you can um, use affirmations that you repeat in your mind to basically keep your focus on just one thought so your mind chatter can just shut up. So an affirmation would be uh, always stated in present tense and it would be focused on getting your consciousness out of your body. So you would be saying something in your mind like, I am leaving my body. I am leaving my body. Just keep on repeating that. You can use variations of that. It doesn't have to be, I am leaving my body. It can be, I am floating. I am floating out of my body. Whatever comes to your mind and whatever works for you. And while you're doing that, just keep at it. And uh, you can get out of your body with affirmations alone. That is a te technique to astral project within itself. So while you keep repeating, I am leaving my body, 
there are a couple of things that will happen. First, you will notice either a sinking sensation or a floating sensation. It can vary in intensity for different people. So typically the first couple of times that you ask to project, it will be stronger than later on when you get used to the feelings of separation from your physical body. And if you keep on doing it, you'll eventually reach the point where the so-called vibrations set in. And what that is, it's basically, it's a rush of energy in your astral body as your chakras, your primary energy centers in your body uh, prepare your astral body to leave the physical body and travel to the astral realm. And you need to continue doing the exit technique. If it's an affirmation or any of the other techniques that I'll tell you about in just a bit, you need to keep doing it and the vibrations will increase in, in intensity until they start to slowly fade. And that's when you basically need to get up, get out of your body, pull yourself out of it. I know it sounds weird, but you need to actively do something at that point. Uh, some people might find themselves already floating like a couple of feet above their bodies so they can just turn around, float away and leave the room where you're at because I do recommend leaving the space that you find yourself in where your body is during the beginning stages of the astral projection because if you turn around and see your body you might get frightened or something might happen you might just snap back into your body it's a normal reaction so I recommend uh, getting some space in between uh, your physical body and your astral body as soon as you leave so uh, yeah that's that for getting out of your body using affirmations I will create some different videos to go more into detail about the uh, sensations um, accompanying astral projection there are some more things that you might experience not just a sinking feeling or floating feeling or the vibrations some people report hearing noises strange sounds voices uh, this is perfectly normal as when you're separating from your physical body you are tuning into a different dimension and you'll begin to hear things uh, related to that dimension that are not in the physical. So yeah, that might freak you out in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. And there's nothing to be afraid of because you can't be harmed outside of your physical body. Your astral body cannot be damaged in any way. If you ever read something like that, uh, it's basically just to scare you off and not try it. So don't be afraid and try it out for yourself. So apart from using affirmations, there are different techniques, but I'll I'll tell you the techniques that I like to use that have worked for me for now, for this video. So there are two techniques, or it, better said, it's, uh, it's two variations of one technique. And uh, the technique I like to use myself is called the rope technique. This was introduced by Robert Bruce, a mystic and psychic who lives in uh, Australia. It's a couple of years old, the technique. I remember reading about it uh, at least 10 to 15 years ago. So this uh, is a quite successful technique and many people have used it to as a project, especially in the beginning stages. If you're not that good with visualizing stuff, then this is perfect for you because uh, all you need to do is either lie down or sit down in, in a comfortable, comfortable position, as I said before. And you basically imagine, you don't have to actually visualize it, just imagine a rope hanging from the ceiling. And you just imagine grabbing it with your uh, astral hands and pulling yourself up that rope. You don't have to actually see the rope in your mind's eye. Just imagine the feeling of touching the rope and pulling yourself up. That's what makes it easy for people because you don't have to actually visualize it. If you do want to visualize it because you say it's easier for you, then go ahead and visualize the rope if you want to. 
And if for some reason you have any issues with the rope technique, uh, for instance, you constantly imagine or picture the rope falling down from the ceiling or whatnot, that kind of happened to me uh, a couple of times, then you can either imagine climbing up a steel ladder or going up some steps, uh, anything that works for you that gives you a sensation of leaving your body, you know, getting your consciousness, your conscious focus away from your physical body. That's what all these techniques are there for anyways. So whatever works for you is the right technique for you. So I'm not going to say you have to use affirmations or the rope technique. Uh, the main thing is you need to get your attention or your consciousness away from the physical body and every anything that allows you to do that is a good way to leave your body. Basically, that's it. Um, yeah, I don't want to confuse you with too many different techniques. So you can choose one of these three techniques or the affirmations, the rope technique, or the variation of the rope technique, which would be uh, imagining a steel ladder, climbing up a steel ladder, or climbing up some steps. And yeah, try that out tonight if you want to, or during the day, which I do recommend if you have a room where you can do it and uh, you can darken the room. I would recommend that because if you are not tired, your chances of having a successful astral projection will be greatly increased. So I really hope you enjoyed this video today and I'll be back with a new video tomorrow. This is Truth Broadcasts with Andreas Quintana. Bye-bye.